Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a fix for an overexposed image in Lightroom. Before we get started with this video tutorial, let's look and see what it is that we're trying to achieve. We're going to take a severely overexposed image like this and we are going to fix it. And we're going to end up with a result that's like this showing you quite clearly that it's easy to recover detail in even highly overexposed images. So if you're ready, let's get started. This is the image as it was brought into Lightroom. Now it came in with an earlier version of Lightroom and I can tell this because I'm seeing this little symbol up here underneath the histogram. So to begin with, I want to update it to the most recent process version. So I'm just going to Alt click on this icon and that will bring it up to the 2012 process version. That's fairly important because these sliders are going to be different in the later process version. So the first thing to do here is to deal with some of the exposure problems. So I'm just going to wind back on the exposure on this image and that automatically brings in a lot of detail from the overexposed areas. I can also look at contrast. So increasing the contrast a little bit might give me a slightly more grainy, a richer sort of result in the image. Now highlights and whites are the other thing I'm going to concentrate on because these are the lightest areas in the image. So I'm going to drag down the whites, the very lightest areas of the image and also the highlights, just decrease those a little bit. To get detail out of what are now some quite deep shadow areas, I'm going to increase the shadows. And I may also want to increase the blacks lighten the blacks a little bit, again recovering some of the detail in these darker areas of the image. Clarity and vibrance are going to be important too. Clarity will give us some mid-tone contrast adjustment and that will add a little bit of crunch, a little bit of detail and sharpening into the mid-tones and adding a little bit of vibrance will help too. So, so far so good. The thing I want to do now is to increase some of the detail in the image and I'm going to do that with the adjustment brush. So I'm going to click here on the adjustment brush and I'm going to click on one of the places I want to add a little bit extra and that is this black tire here. So I'm just selecting on the tire or just pinning down my adjustment brush. I'm resizing it and I'm going to decrease my feather. I'm going to make sure auto mask is turned on. And then I'm going to just paint over this area. It might help if I show the mask overlay so that you can see what area of the image I actually have selected here. I just want to isolate these black or darker areas of the image, the tire. And if I need to wipe out or erase some of my selection, I'm just holding down the Alt key because that gets me to the eraser which has a slightly different set of settings on it. It's a much smaller brush so it's a little bit easier to clean up with that. So now let's turn off the mask overlay and now we can work on the selected area of the image. So I can for example just darken it a little bit and I might want to add a bit more clarity in there as well. If I'm done with that, I'll just click the Done button or I could also click Close in that panel. I'm going to add a couple more adjustments to this image. So again, with the adjustment brush selected, I'm going to pin it down here and just select in this very light area because my eye is tending to go there and your eye will always go to the lightest areas of the image. So I'm just going to make sure I've got a sort of selection here because it's in the background. Once I kill some of the lightness there, it won't really matter too much what sort of selection I've made. And I'm just going to drop down the exposure a little bit just to reduce the lightness of that area. And I'm done with that now. And the final area I may want to do some adjustment in is these windows. So again, I'm going to show the selected mask overlay because I want a pretty good selection for this area. The auto mask is really helping here because it ensures that only the areas under that sort of cross hatch are being selected. But I'm going to have to clean it up a little bit though. So let's just go through and clean up the selection. 
go back to not seeing the mask overlay and then just work out what we're going to do with this. I'm thinking maybe a little bit less contrast and a little bit less exposure might help on that area. I could also look at some increased saturation if I wanted to. And perhaps a little bit more clarity. You can also bring down the highlights a little bit, but I don't want to do it too much because you're getting that sort of negative look on the image. So I'd really still want a little bit of clarity in here because you can see that this window is looking a lot different to this one. So I'm just going to look for something that's going to work for me there in terms of that effect and then click Done. From here I can just consider if I want to make any further adjustments with the image. I think I want to increase saturation a bit. I'm not really too happy with the colour in the image. I'd like to see a little bit more colour. But when I wind up the colour for the truck and give it some really nice colour, I'm getting a lot of green here. Well, I can bring down the green if I click on Colour here and I can isolate the green areas of the image by just clicking on Green and then just reduce the saturation of those areas and it'll need to be in yellow probably as well because there's a lot of yellow in the green. And if I just reduce those, you can see I'm getting better colour through the truck but not quite so much green in the image. So now let's look and see how far we've come. I'm just going to press the backslash key and that'll give us the before image. And here is the after image. So we've been able to recover a lot of detail in this overexposed image. We're doing it with adjustments through the basic panel in Lightroom and then adding special localized adjustments with the adjustment brush. And finally to play down the green so that we're getting a lot of color in the truck but not over greening up the grass, we just knocked some of the color out of the green and yellow channels. I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. Look out for more video tutorials here on my YouTube channel and consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And visit my website at projectwoman.com where you'll find more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications including Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.